Yeah, Tamsin and John, this is truly a complex case. We have the 20 minute confession video, but a different man in prison, and that man's family is confused and hurting. I miss him so. Dolores Jordan is longing for her son, Shamel Amos. Shamel is serving a seven year prison sentence for these illegal guns, even though another man, Dwight Pittman, confessed on video to owning the guns. AK, 380, the Mac, the 9, and the 40, and the and a vest, and whatever the clippings and shells that was in the bag is mom. So if Dwight Pittman admitted to the crime, why is Shamel Amos behind bars? It started with a kind gesture. In 2016, Shamel and Dwight were close friends. So when Dwight became homeless, Shamel's family took him in. But their new house guest had a secret. He brought some weapons in my home, and I was not aware of weapons in my home. The NYPD received a tip, and on December 20th, 2016, they served a search warrant and raided the family's home in Flatbush, Brooklyn. They had everybody to lay on the floor. Police found a bag of guns and bullets in the closet Dwight was using, but Dwight wasn't home at the time. The police arrested Shamel, who was in the house, and charged him with several counts of criminal gun possession. He spoke exclusively with PIX11 by phone from prison. The lawyer that I had made it seem like he had everything under control. After learning of his friend's arrest, Dwight Pittman went to Shamel's legal aid attorney and claimed full responsibility for the guns. I can tell you, all of them, they was marked. Nobody knew, nobody knew nothing about it. But by the time Dwight came forward, Shamel faced mounting pressure and accepted a plea deal. He worried he could get even more time if the case went to trial. Shamel's lawyer never provides the videotape confession to the DA's office. Now Shamel's new attorney, Justin Bonus, is fighting to bring him home. We filed a motion to vacate the conviction. Making the fight even more difficult, Dwight Pittman was shot and killed before he could ever testify in court. For Shamel's fiance and his baby girl, this legal nightmare has been excruciating. I don't know what I'm able to say to my daughter, like, why is your father in jail for something that he didn't do? And I did check in with sources in the Brooklyn DA's office about this, again, complicated case. They explained a gun possession charge is about who was in that space with the weapons when the police came in, not about who believes or says they're the rightful owner. So even with that confession video, it may just not be enough to overturn the conviction of Shamel Amos. Tamsin and John.